Hello and welcome to Tech Deals, part one of the ultimate $4,000 no compromise system build. This video is a preview and overview of all the components that I'm going to be putting together into an absolutely top of the line machine. Following this video are going to be several more videos all linked in the description below. So if you're not interested in seeing the overview and thought process behind these components, by all means go check out the next video in the series below. I'm going to be doing a complete step-by-step -step build of this machine where I put the camera overhead over the table and I'm going to put everything in and talk through it as I go. So anybody who wants to see the actual build process, that will be detailed enough to follow along at home. After that, we're going to be doing a Windows installation and then Windows performance on this. We'll be doing game testing as well. And for the first time on my channel, I'll be doing video editing, video rendering, and 3D animation system performance. I'll also be testing the performance of different SSDs and basically doing a whole lot of videos on this computer. Now, this is the first video where I'm going to go over the parts that are in it, briefly why I'm putting them in here, and what the purpose of them is. The second video in this series is not actually going to be the system build, it's going to be a more detailed vlog style video where I talk about my thought process. Now that video is going to be much longer and not everybody's probably going to want to, want to watch it and that's okay. This video I'm going to try to keep to just a couple of minutes and cover the basics. So in this video we're going to start off by talking about the parts which is the Intel i7 6800K processor. This is a six core, 12 thread chip. It's the entry level chip in the enthusiast desktop platform from Intel. That processor is about $430 and it gets installed on this Asus X99-A2 motherboard. This is the updated version of the board for the Broadwell E platform. Speaking of updated products, all of the items I'm talking about will be linked in the description below to both Amazon and Newegg. By all means, go check out the links below. Buy this stuff wherever it's cheapest. No, I don't expect somebody to buy exactly what I have sitting here. This is a very custom machine for a very custom purpose. But you may want parts of it, or you may take parts of this and use it in your own build. So, links in the description below. So we're using the X99-A2 board. This is currently $230. It is a great full-featured board with lots of features and lots of capabilities. There are many other boards you could pick. The second video, the vlog video, will go into more detail about the differences of the boards. But I picked this one because it's a good value for the money. Lots of features, not crazy price. Into the motherboard, we're going to be installing 32 gigabytes of DDR4 3000 megahertz RAM. This particular RAM is G-Skill RIP JAWS 4, but other brands are fine as well. Anything from Corsair or um, G-Skill or Adata or Kingston are all fine. Now, the 3000 megahertz doesn't make a difference for gaming, but it does make a difference for 3D rendering, animation, uh, video rendering, video editing. So that's why we're putting that in. For cooling for the CPU, we'll come back over here and I'm putting in Corsair's excellent H115i 280mm liquid cooler. That's currently running about $120. Excellent cooling for our CPU, which we'll be doing an overclocking video on. I actually have not yet done a live overclock video on my channel. Not to worry, I will be doing that as its full video. I will show you both automatic overclocking on this board as well as manual overclocking and we'll see how much we can get out of this CPU using that cooler. Storage. My main boot drive is going to be a Samsung 950 Pro NVMe SSD. Those are about $320. It's a 512 gig drive. Expensive, but very, very fast. I have several other SSDs I'm going to be installing. Each has a reason and a purpose to be here. More explanation on that in the longer vlog following this video. But in short, Samsung's spectacularly good 850 EVO 1TB drive. These are about $300 in terms of serial ATA SSDs. This has no equal. It is incredibly fast and this is going to be my main application drive. I've got a 960 gig drive from Adata. It's their SP550. I've got a 960 gig SanDisk Ultra 2 drive over there. And then I've got a 750 gigabyte Crucial MX300 
right here. All five of these SSDs are going to be installed in here. I did say ultimate, didn't I? Well, ultimate. For additional bulk storage, I have got four eight terabyte Se um, Seagate, excuse me, archive hard drives. What is an archive hard drive? Those are very fast in read speed, not so fast in write speed. They're primarily meant for the long-term storage of data. I generate a lot of data, not just videos, although these 4K videos I shoot for YouTube use a lot of data, but I, I generate data in other places for my other business as well. So this provides me with 32 terabytes of hard drive space. The case is an Obsidian 750D from Corsair. I love this full tower case. It's not what I would call cheap at $130, but it's actually not expensive either. For a full tower premium case with all the features it comes with, it's actually very reasonably priced. I have done an unboxing of this before. In fact, I've done unboxings of several of these products, uh, the video card, the motherboard, the cooler, those will be linked in the description below. Go check this out, it is an awesome case. Power supply, this is a new one for me. I have got a top of the line Corsair AX1200 Platinum 80 Plus power supply. That is an expensive power supply that most of you should not buy. This retails for $310. I didn't pay that, that's refurbished, which is why I don't have the box for it. I got that on a, on a refurbished deal. I will talk in the vlog about other power supply choices that don't cost $310 new. Uh, there's other, you don't need that much power supply, but I got such a good deal on it, I said, you know what, what the heck, I'm gonna go crazy and get an AX1200, why not? Video card. Video card needs depend on what you're using your machine for, but this will be a do everything machine for me. So I've got EVGA's excellent GeForce GTX 1080 for the win edition graphics card. This thing is an awesome, awesome card, and it will let me game at 4K without a problem. One more small item, very minor, but I will be installing this. What's this little cable you ask? For less than $10, this will provide me with two additional USB 3.0 super speed ports on the back of the computer case. It will, I will include it when we install the machine and put it all together. The motherboard has a lot of USB ports, but there's a header to add two more USB 3 ports to the back of the machine, and I'll be using this to show you how to add those if you want to add more USB ports to your system. So these are all the parts that are going in the machine. The total cost of everything you see on the desk at regular retail price is about $4,000. That's a lot of money. I didn't pay that for all of this. No, none of this was given to me as a sample or for free, but for example, $310 brand new, I paid $170 for it, refurbished. So I tried to get deals on everything here, bought them when they were on sale. I put these parts together over time to basically get a good, as good a deal as I could. This video is now going to be followed up by a longer video where I talk about why I picked this case over others, what you might choose if you don't want this video card, different RAM brands, and so on and so forth. That's going to be a longer video and it's more of a background thought process. The third video is going to be the actual build. So if you want to skip the longer version, no worries. Look in the video description below, go to video number three for the actual build. And then video four will be Windows install, video five will be performance, and there will be many more videos to come after that. Like this video if you like it, don't if you don't. Remember to subscribe to my channel. It's the big huge red button right down there. That's how you get notified of new videos coming out. It doesn't cost anything, so click that button now. Leave your questions, comments, thoughts, feedback, and suggestions in the comment section below this video. And be sure to check out the video description, links to all the additional videos that will be coming up on this computer, as well as my original unboxings of some of these components, and links to Amazon and Newegg for all these parts. Check them out to see where the best deals are. I would certainly appreciate it if you would do so. That certainly helps me out. Thank you very much for watching this video, and I will see you next time.